The blue whale is an awe-inspiring creature, the largest animal that has ever lived. They can weigh 136,000 kilos and stretch 133 meters from nose to tail. They may live from 80 to 110 years. But in the Santa Barbara Channel, even blue whales are no match for giant cargo ships. When ships hit whales, whales die. There are about 80 endangered whales that are killed every year along the coast of North, Western North America. And that's a lot of whales for some of these whales that are quite rare in these populations. We really think that that roadkill is inhibiting the recovery, slowing down the recovery of these whales. Commercial whaling reduced blue whales to about 1% of their original number before killing them was banned by an international agreement in 1966. The whale's population is increasing worldwide, but given their slow reproductive cycle, scientists and government officials are concerned about their survival. We're at a point now where we have a chance to bring blue whales back from the brink of extinction. We need to find the ways to slow ships down along the California coast. Researchers with the University of California and the Binoff Ocean Initiative are working on a technologically sophisticated new whale warning system, an array of visual surveillance, hydrophones, thermal imaging, and data crunching. All that information comes together to be alert that says, hey ships, watch out, today's a bad day for whales, please slow down. If the ships build in two to four hours of their transit, to accommodate for slower, the slow speed zone, to protect the whales, then we can achieve what we're trying to without regulation. The government agency responsible has asked shipping companies to voluntarily cut their speed and even offered modest cash rewards for those who will do so. But nevertheless, 90% of all ships that transit these whale-rich waters go full speed ahead. In shipping, like any other business, time is money. No vessel master wants to hit a whale. It's a tragic thing when it does happen, and we do take steps to try and avoid it. But the industry opposes mandatory speed limits in blue whale territory. What we would like to see is the continuance of voluntary programs in order to collect necessary data to inform that decision-making process. What's known already is this. Unless the ships slow down, more of these magnificent animals will become roadkill. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Santa Barbara.